Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. This is my first uh, personal client video made for Ivan from my Patreon account. Uh, Ivan was wanting to know more about creating NURB surfaces and he gave me some images that he was trying to recreate. Now, like I said in the video I made about NURB surfaces, Maya is not a very NURBS friendly program in my opinion. There are definitely NURBS uh, functions and things, but in general though, Maya I think other programs work better with NURBS, like he, like uh, Ivan mentioned uh, Rhino, for example, as one program. Uh, but we're going to show some stuff with uh, NURBS, though, and how they would work. So typically, though, what you would have to do, though, like I, like I said in that video, NURBS surfaces have to kind of stay in square shapes. So if I were to go to create a NURBS primitive, and let's try a, let's see, let's do a sphere. So I have this, I'll scale it up a little bit. Now if we want to make like a, uh, <clears throat> if we want to make like a square shape, and there are things we can do. We can control vertices, for example, I can grab all of these and say grid snap them like this. try to get, get kind of a square shape. And the reason why I'm doing this as opposed to a NURBS cube is because like I showed in the video, NURBS cubes are not solid surfaces. They're not uh, put together shapes. So I can grab all these CVs here and kind of grid snap them like this. So I'm just kind of grid snapping these like so. But you know, I wouldn't really I'm not, I'm not a big fan of making cubes in this manner. One thing you can do, if I go to create, let's go for a polygon primitive, and let's do a cube. And I'll scale this up like this. And what you can do, if you go to modify, convert, you can convert polygons to subdiv. Subdiv is subdivisional surfaces. It's a a third kind of geometry. It's there's polygons and nerves, but then there's also subdivisional surfaces, which is kind of kind of blending the two. So if I click on that, it'll convert it to this. So let me undo that. So with this cube here, I'm going to just go to edit mesh bevel. So I'm beveling the cube. I'm going to increase or decrease the fraction and increase the segments. So I have something like this. And then I'm going to go to modify, convert polygons to subdiv. So we have this. This is a subdivisional surface. Okay. And then from here I can go to modify, convert, and you can convert subdiv to NURBS. Now when I do that, it loses the uh, shader. Let me add the Lambert back on. This is now a NURBS object, and you can see, just like with the NURBS cube, it separates them into into pieces. Okay, so it does what it can to convert the geometry into uh, NURBS from that from that point. Let me undo this back before the conversion. Then, so what you could do, and if you think about it in this way, is to make those kinds of shapes that you want. So what I've done here is I've right clicked and chose and went from standard to polygon. So you can go right click and say standard right click and say polygon. It turns green like this, that's okay. So while it's set to polygon mode, I can right click and choose faces. And I can grab this face and let's say I'm going to extrude it. Edit mesh, extrude. I'm just going to scale it down like this. Press the G key to extrude again. And you kind of see what's happening here. The That purple line there is the subdivisional surface that's being created from the polygon mesh that I'm pulling out. So this face over here, you can see the subdivisional surface is like this curvy shape. I'm going to go to Edit Mesh and let's bevel this. Increase the fraction, increase the segment. So you can see the resulting subdivisional surface and how it's getting sharper over here. I can even go back and let's say, let's go to Edit Mesh or sorry, Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop, and I'll left click and drag an edge loop back here. Okay, so Maya crashed when I tried to do that, but the idea is still sound. 
So what we can do is we can start with polygons, kind of shape, kind of create the shape we want, and then convert it to NURBS. I'm not sure if that's really what you're wanting to see, um, but in order to get those complex shapes that you were showing me in those images, and I'll superimpose them here in the video for other people to see, uh, in order to get those kinds of shapes with NURBS, you kind of have to go through some hoops. So let me go ahead and try and do that real quick and create a polygon primitive cube. Hide the grid. Edit mesh. Extrude. I'll scale this down. And I'm just going to do this relatively quickly just so you can kind of see kind of the process. Now for making the hole through here you can do like a boolean or you can do other things. What I can do here is I can edit mesh and grab both sides. Edit mesh, extrude. Click on the little box then click on this and it's doing it for both sides. And then I'll delete those faces. Then I can Select this edge loop, shift select that edge loop, and I should be able to go to edit mesh, um, edit mesh bridge, and it bridges those faces together, fills that gap in. So something like that. Now if we were to convert this straight to subdivision services now and then to NURBS right now, everything it will be kind of uh, collapsed and be very uh, round just because there's not a lot of beveling happening to kind of cement those corners together and make those corners sharp. So I'm just going to select the whole thing, go to Edit Mesh Bevel, adjust the fraction, increase the segments, you can see the wireframe there. So I got something like this. So now I'm going to go to Modify, Convert, Polygons to Subdivisional Surfaces, and it creates this. And again, it may not be perfect. Then I'll go to Modify, Convert, Subdivisional Surfaces to NURBS. Right click and assign the Lambert 1 material back on. So now this is a NURBS object. If I click on these, you can see it's all separated out maintaining that square surface like we talked about in that original video and so in order to create these kinds of shapes with NURBS this is kind of what you the, the, what you have to do um, you kind of now it is possible to create such shapes without going through the converting process but it's definitely a bit more involved and more time consuming I figure if you want shapes like this with NURBS, this is probably the easiest way to do it in Maya, at least. Uh, like I said, other programs might have an uh, easier workflow for this kind of work. But let me go back through that real quick, though. You, what I did here was I created the polygon shape. I beveled it really nicely to get a lot of uh, beveled edges on all the little edges here to maintain that shape. Because if you don't do that, here I'll undo, actually, I'll show you what happens if you don't do that. So again, if you have this and then you go straight to go into modify, convert to subdivisional surfaces there you can see what happens immediately it just kind of all forms together into a big round blob so you definitely need to um, bevel the surface before doing all the converting stuff and again that's under edit mesh bevel and we can adjust the fraction down to get the uh, narrowness of the bevel that you want increase the segments up some if you want to this with a segment of 3 and a lower fraction, like 0.23 here. Then I'll con convert this by going to Modify, Convert, Polygons to Subdiv, which gives us this. And then I can go to Modify, Convert, Subdiv to NURBS. It'll turn green like this if it's like mine. Just have to right click and say Assign Existing Material, and you can assign the Lambert 1 material. It makes it gray again. But now this is a NURBS object, all separated out like this, to in order to maintain that shape, but still be a NURBS surface. I hope that helps. 
Uh, I know it might not be the answer you're looking for, but um, if we were, if I was going to make a surface like what you showed me, using NURBS, this is this is the way I would go about doing it for sure. But anyway, I hope that uh, helped, Ivan. I hope any, anybody else who watches this in the future, I hope that helped you as well. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll talk to you later. And thank you very much, Ivan, for your support.